Hey everyone, it's Davi. In this video, I'll show you back-end web application and front-end web application that I developed. A back-end web application I developed by using Spring Boot, Spring Security, and JWT authentication. And front-end web application I developed by using React.js. I already connected here on my local machine above repositories, but before you start the back-end web application, you need to copy these examples files to your target environment. Uh, before you start the front-end web application, you need to run this command to install the dependencies. As our database is empty, uh, we need to register a new user and carry out login. And now, let's add permissions to the user we just registered. To do that, we need to execute this queries director in the database. It's very important to check a database name in the local properties files before you do this. You run this query to insert the privileges and another query to insert a link between these privileges and the user we just registered. And this another rule is very important to prevent logged in user from deleting himself. So as the user don't have a read permission to access Kerrygarden, uh, access the night screen appeared. So just add this permission and test her again include the new Kerrygarden. And now let's insert a new role called the manager and a new user called the Steve only with manager role. The privileges can be empty at at least one. And now test if user Steve has permission to access Kerrygari, including a new Kerrygari, update Kerrygari and delete a Kerrygari. Although user Steve doesn't have any permission to access Kerrygari registry, he can do it because these permissions were added to the role manager and was inherited by user Steve. If we carry out login with user Steve, we will not have permission to access user registration because user Steve has only permission to access Kerrygari. And now let's add user permissions directly into the user Steve. To do that, we need to carry out login with my user who has user permissions and give these permissions to user Steve. After do that, we need to carry out login with user Steve, test if he can delete himself, and then we can check if user Steve has permission to access user registration. That's it, you guys. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumb up and hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.